Hello everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 1. This is going to be uh, one of the last episodes, actually, I think, because uh, we're getting near the end of the game, I think. Yeah, 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 go away, go away, I'll take you though. Three green herbs, my word. Do I need three? Ugh. To you too. Yeah, I'll take them. Why not? Let's go down the stairs, avoiding you. I'm gonna try and avoid more enemies because I don't. I can't remember how long this section is. I don't think it's very long, but I think it's long enough. So I know I'm not running low on ammo per se. I can hear something moving. I'm gonna dive in here quickly. Um. <laughs> Um. Okay, there's a first aid thing there. Alright, okay. No, I don't exact. Stop looking at weeds! Damn it. I'm gonna leave that first aid spray there. I don't think I'm gonna need it right now. Don't like this music though. What's this? Oh, it's an x-ray. Okay, where are we? Any particular reason why we're picking up x-rays? Something scrawled on a notepad. To use electronic door, place the initials in alphabetic order. Does it mean the initials of... So that's Clark, David... I don't want to combine it, damn it. Right, okay. I bet you the two on the wall are like A, B, and yeah. Alex Beckett. Is this the one for Clark David? Yep. I bet you this one is Gail Holland. It is. Gail Holland, come on down. Okay. Researcher's letter. June 18th, 98. My dearest Ada. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. I'll be a zombie. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason, just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive. I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running smoothly, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I've set up a terminal in a small security room so you can log your system using my name and the name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the door and the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure of code of the password into the x-ray picture, a rontgenogram. I know you and I'm sure you better work it out without any trouble. Well, you left the instructions on the bloody wall, so yeah, of course I will. Just one more thing, this is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, put me out of my misery, I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John, John, John. John and Ada. Cool. Remember those for later. Okay, so what am I meant to... Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's the colon, isn't it? Uh... Yeah, that's the colon. Not that one. Uh, esophagus, that's E.
that's the liver. That's the lungs, so it's cell. Is the initials of the, the uh, password that John was talking about, I think. Sweet. Let's keep on keeping on. Damn. What's she doing? Kicking the door down. Okay, I want to explore the last... I will take that. Because uh, then I've got it. But I hope I haven't got to go all the way back to an item box. Just because I'm going to pick something up. I want to explore... Uh, oh, hello. Woo! Not that I advocate blowing things heads off, but you know. <laughs> Ooh, Magnum. I probably should get the Magnum because to be honest. It looks like a oh hello. V Act, researchers note. <clears throat> There is no evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates into a, into, into a humanoid creature we call them V-Acts. Its speed and muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we've decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. That's the thing that we... Um... Oh, is this the computer? That's the thing that we... Um... Force, you know the thing in the um, blah, 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 yeah, da, 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 the coffin. But why are we only finding out about crimson heads now? I get it. Also, who the hell designed this keyboard? A, it's not right, and B, it looks like a five-year-old drew it. To John and Ada, that should give us some form of access. Uh, oh, maybe it's the. Sweet! So we're unlocking doors now. Let's try the other one. Nice. Okay, I think we've done everything here. Ooh. Damn it, how many first aid kits do they want to give me? I'll take it, because I'm already on uh, caution for some reason, so I'm going to use one of those just to get me pumped up. I really want to... No, I want the item. Ooh, handy. I mean, what the... We know that they were experimenting on bodies, but what the hell is wrong with these researchers? All right, let's get out of it. Right, I'm going to head back this way, I think. I want to go check out those doors that we unlocked. I think they're on the top of to this other lab. Okay. Chumpy McChumpson is still hanging out over there. He's love. Oh, what's this over here? An ammo disc, okay. I think we'll need that. Yeah, how many first aid sprays have they given us? Christ alive. Uh, cool. Film's been set into place. View it. Yes. Bioorganic weapon official report. Ah, oh, it's all the beasties. Cerberus MA39. Neptune FI03. We fought that little git. We electrocuted him. Hunter. 
Oh, what a tyrant. T002. Oh, yeah. That's bloody Wesker. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group. Development staff. There's a barcode there. So Wesker's a dick. Oh no. Uh, okay. What's that over there? Oh, I'm going to have to dump some items. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm going to go dump some items and I'll come back. I'll see you in a moment, guys. Okay. <clears throat> right. So, uh, I wasn't actually recording for a little while because I went to go and um, do that um, item switch. Basically, I had to use the... I was getting a bit stuck and I had to use the film roll on here. And basically, that gave us access. You know the, the barcode at the bottom? Um, it gave us access to the passcode, which gave us access to this room. Which is awesome. I'm just sorry you missed it. Like I say, I, was, uh, I wasn't recording for some unknown godly reason. Image editing equipment. It looks like you could use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film. Why not? Get away from me! No! No! I mean, I'm guessing you're under arrest doesn't really... Um... No, I'm going to use it again. Uh, it's kind of like not really going to work. And we all know now that Kenneth is a terrible shot. Uh, from that room, we also got the lab key. Okay, and we've also got all these discs. Okay. So, I think it's time to boogie. I can't pick up that first aid spray anymore. So, let's get the heckity who out of here and explore some more. Oh, finally. Welcome back, guys. Sorry, I basically, I was wandering around for about... Again, about 20 minutes trying to find out where this bloody lab key works for. And, um, I didn't want to put, to put you through all that. Nothing happened. Literally, nothing happened. So don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can climb up here. Okay, cool. Oh, please tell me we're not going to go. Oh, there we are. Apparently we're going shaft diving. Do we have to get down here? Ugh. Whoa! Whoa, what the hell was that? Right, I'm getting the hell down. Damn it, what the hell are you? <laughs> Apart from... <laughs> Apart from dead. It's just like a massive fly. Yes, I will. Uh, what's... Security passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disc... Ooh! Oh, that's what the... F that's what it's for. Right. Can we use the other ones? No, okay, so we've got to find three of those by lots of things. Okay, this was pushing before, so let's keep... Ah, okay. Gotcha. Because that's the way I came in. And it says we're going to chef die here. Alright, there's only one more... Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, was it literally just for these two doors? Okay, cool. Okay. This doesn't seem to be anything here, so let's... Uh, is that a door? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Nice and convenient. Ooh, more grenade shells. I don't think we've actually picked up any grenade shells for ages. We'll definitely take the shotgun ammo. Thank you. Yep. There's an ink ribbon there too. Right, cool. Guys, I'm going to do my business here. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so we got saved. I'm going to have a little look around here. Things they, they hit quite hard actually because look, that's just straight, put them straight on caution. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Every fueling device, it's not working right now because there's no fuel, there's an empty capsule. Right, so we've got to get the fuel for the capsule. So we're okay at the m I remember this actually. Uh, we're okay at the moment, we can run around, however. Jesus Christ almighty, these things take an absolute... These things take an hammering. Alright, yeah, I don't want to face even more. I think that's the refueling room, actually, so... Um... I'm going to get the heckity who out of here. And get the heckity who away from you, you're weird. Yeah. Um, so... I think I know where I need to go. Um, because when I was looking around to use the lab key, I remember uh, seeing a refuel. So we're going to go ahead there now. I'm actually quite glad I killed that zombie here because that would cause me some problems. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Now we just did a big loop. Alright, let's loop it again. So this is the three lock thing that we need to, uh, we're not going to pull anything just yet because we haven't got all three locks open yet. So that's what the MO disc is for. Cool. Okay. Uh, yes, I will take the incendiary shells. Not going to bother with the ink ribbon, I've got tons. Whoa! Sunny Jim? Facts. Uh, sanitation Division. Attention of the Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon City Contingency Committee. Contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name and address of you only. Any copying disclo or disclosure of the contents to of this fax to any third party is forbidden by the sender. It must be destroyed immediately. Well, someone didn't do their job right. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half the researchers have been affected by, T by the T-virus and died. Well, that is... <laughs> that is somewhat a concern, yes. It's also been reported that almost all the survivors in this accident are starting to show symptoms of a T-virus infection. Well, what did you expect? Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. <laughs> That's a secondary concern? Um, therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there's a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. Not anymore. Uh, we expect the casualties to follow. 
However, yet unfortunate these casualties underscore the success of the research res Success? Really? Actions will be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STAR, Special Tactics and Rescue Squad, Service, Squad, whatever. We strongly recommend measures against them first. Okay. So this was obviously all a setup from Umbrella, but they were... Oh, there's another MO disc. Yes, please. Nice. Okay. Let's have a... Ooh, what's here? Ah, this is where the fuel is. Okay. So, yeah. So, this was all set up by Umbrella to obviously be a success, but they think that it has been? What's wrong with them? Should have resigned. Well, it shouldn't even been a success or a failure. It shouldn't have happened. Okay. Now we cannot run. Okay. Nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys, so we're going to head back to where we were. Oh, yeah, by the way, that film reel I was talking about, it's over there. Uh, basically, I didn't save uh, before I, after I used it, so it's back there for the time being. So I remembered the code, so I just went back and put it in. So we've got to walk. Any running could result in a big, big boom. So I think it was this way. Um, this is kind of why, on the way to the uh, en the engine area, you have to sort of clear things out. Because if you um, if you don't and you get hit like tagged by an enemy, that's counted as jarring. So that means that you're gonna get um, there's a risk that you could. Um, is this even the right way? Yes, it is. Yeah, we're going this way. And obviously, if you start unloading lead as well, same thing. You're jarring yourself, so it means that there's a good chance that you will um, explode. And it is fatal. Like, you... it's it's game over. Which isn't fun for anyone. So we'll walk very slowly, very calmly. I remember this being the most, like, pain in the ass bit of the game, because normally, what would happen is, you'd have these sodding things after you, and I never killed the one that was here. I always forgot about him. So, you're trying to be clever. Okay. Sod off. Thank the Lord for that. Um, now we can run. Cool. Yeah, so I never killed the Chimera that's there, and it just became a pain in the ass. Now let's go back to that other room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not killing you, not wasting the shells. I I'm running out of shotgun shells. I've got tons of handgun ammo, but... And I haven't got a man. Whoa! Oh! All right, can you hold on a minute while I transmit this password? <laughs> and boom! And boom! Okay. I found that completely by accident, but that's fine. Whoa! I just wanted this. Oh, we've got tons of these now. Go away! You're a freak and you're weird! Leave me alone! God, there's tons of them. Bloody tons of them. I think if I went around shooting all of them, I'd be... I'd be out of shotgun shell. I literally just want to get here. Literally all I wanted to do. 
right, I am definitely out of here now because those chimeras are going to come out the bloody walls. I need to get back to the save room. Like, urgently. Because I am not feeling well. <laughs> We are making some really good progress though, and like I say, a lot of the lab I do remember because it was the most ingrained in my head from the original, because of how much of a pain in the ass it is. Um, it's not even that bad, it's just the fact that there's a lot to do and a lot to find, but not. it's not a massive area, so you've got to like sort of remember it without... Uh, I know what I mean, you know what I mean, let's just heal ourselves, shall we? Cool, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I know that the next section um, is going to involve a... Um, it's going to need me to have a lot of weapons, so I've equipped a lot of my more powerful weapons, like the self-defense gun, uh, shotgun, and the rock grenade launcher. I don't really want to be using my magnum if I can help it. So this is the elevator we've been powering up. I realize that... Um, you didn't actually see this, because obviously this is when I was wandering around looking for the lab key. Jill! Barry! You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Oh, piss off, Barry. You you were being a right douche to us earlier. We're not talking about, oh, you know, just doing us over. It was a case of you literally, like, pointing a gun at us. So you can screw right off. This is what it's even leading up to, then. Ooh, shotgun ammo. I'll have some of that. Lots of that, in fact. Okay, can't go that way. So let's go this way. That's a very posh door. And the biohazard symbol on there. Let's go and see what it's all about. Ooh, cutscene. Wesker! Oh, Thank Barry. You, well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! Ow. Umbrella. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. So he was kind of his own man, wasn't he? He was doing his own thing. What an ass. Ooh, I've literally just noticed him. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is the tyrant that we saw in that document. God, that thing's huge. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. Oh, good on you, Barry. Barry! Well, you finally grew a spine. Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! You can't do that to be shot with a magnum. What's wrong with you, man? We're 
gonna have to kill this thing, aren't we? Oh dear god, he is Damn massive! It. <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. You want a piece of me? Don't wait, just shoot it. What? Premature. No, Barry! It's literally one of those you moments. Viral cultured freak. I wouldn't piss it off, Jill. Ooh, let's get the hell out of here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> ah. Wow, okay. That was not as intense as I thought it would be. Um, <laughs> I brought all that ammo for nothing. Observation notes. Uh, discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the prim primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite which was delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. Lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years, then incubated. Then, from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved might be a more appropriate way of describing it. The observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. There was a breakthrough that would change the future of BOW history. I cannot wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings, William Birkin. Okay. Right, I'll we'll have a good look around in here. Barry's gone, which, you know... Oh, okay, that was for the door, I would assume. Okay, don't think there's anything more around. Yes, I know, there's a pathetic way to die, blah, blah, blah. Let's check this machine. No, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, cool, we're here. let's get out of here. Oh, Barry's there. Barry! Okay. Barry! Ah, <sighs> uh, you're okay. Ah, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Okay. Again, I just want to check all the tables. Uh, make sure there's nothing here. One of the creepiest things you've seen. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's get out of here. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. So self-destruct sequence has been initiated. That's not good at all. I hope we're not actually on a timer, because that's gonna suck. The self-destruct system has been activated. All Okay, we're not actually on a timer, which is good. Right, let's get the heck of you who out of here. 
we're also going to investigate that door uh, very quickly, you know, one with the locks on it. Uh, it's unlocked now, so let's go take a look at it. I think it's this way. Whoa, 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 Sonny Jim. Okay, let's get these levers down. Can't believe you actually got to do this three times. Jill, I don't know if you noticed the blaring alarm, but we're kind of in a hurry. You know, we're kind of like, you know, potentially going to die. Hurry up! Uh, like I said, this I do actually remember, so uh the self destruct system has been activated. Go for that. I had this nasty feeling it was gonna be locked still. <laughs> Look who it isn't. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. I love how he's just like sort of chilling on the bed. Like massive alarm going off, self-destruct talked about, and he's just sat there. Now I'm gonna go back in because I think there's some items in there. But like I said, yeah, I kind of remember that from uh, the original. Shotgun shells, always handy. And I've got that much grenade ammo on me. I'm just gonna be using that if I need any, if I need to shoot anything. Come on, Chris. You've been sat in your backside for far too long. Let's get moving. I seem to remember there was a timer on this section for some reason. Come on, let's go. You're very keen, Chris. It's this way to get out of the lab, I think. If memory serves. Let's avoid these uh, zombos. Just stab them in the eye, Jill. That's good. <coughs> Not too worried about taking hits now. Come on, come on, hurry! Right, all right. I'm a hurrying. Right, I'm not going to worry about those two. Um... This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. Okay. So Brad is still circling by the looks of things. Fuse units missing? Really? Oh, it's there. I went straight past it. Look, could you imagine if it came all this way and you had no inventory space? <laughs> I would be so pissed. It's not even connected to anything. Three minutes to detonation. Oh, now you want to put a timer in. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad! No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Alright, Chris is having his bono moment.
that's one of the coolest doors ever. As doors go. Oh, we actually have got a three minute timer now. Last 10 seconds gone. Thanks, Jill. Can't blame the Jill. Can't, the Jill. Ooh. Aha. Let's get these on the heliport. Because that's where we are. Instant release, it just like took her face off. <laughs> After surviving all of those horrors, she gets killed by signal mm -hmm. rockets. Jill! Woo! You I made survived. It. Oh, screw off! Oh, I knew he wasn't dead. Chris, you're a wimp. Barry, Barry, just shoot him. You learned this lesson in the... Thank you. That's the problem with having a six-shooter, isn't it? Please just go down. Finally. Jill, use it. Kill it, whatever it is. Yes, because we have a rocket launcher. <laughs> just prepare for this situation. You dare. Oh, I've actually got to equip it. Fails, blow it to smithereens, it'll be fine. There's no way Brad held off for that long. But okay. <laughs> so that's a tiring death. Um And that, my friends, was Resident Evil. Wow. Do you know what? This game isn't perfect, but my days. I remember so much about these, this game from the original. And um, I'm so glad. They kept a lot of it faithful, and um, including the dodgy voice acting. Um, yeah, Wesker's a dick. Um, <laughs> if you know anything about Wesker, uh, you'll know that he is he is one of the big bad guys uh, throughout Chris and Jill's story, especially. And um, this is where it all starts. Now, technically, uh, Resident Evil Zero comes before this, but that game is um, not one of my favourites. And to be honest, I don't think I'd enjoy a Let's Play. So I. I predominantly play games that I know I will enjoy and I know that you will enjoy because I'm enjoying it so yeah I think this is the main place to start the story off and meet the, meet the characters um, I love the way that they incorporated the the, the the bosses as well they made them a little bit different this time around um, I still get shivers about Black Tiger, the, the giant spider down in the caves. <laughs> but, um, 
But yeah, that was Jill's campaign. Now, I'm not going to replay it on Chris's campaign as a Let's Play, I don't think, because it's, it's largely the same. There's a few differences, but it's largely the same, so I don't think I'll bother. But um, stick around till the end and you'll see what is coming next. Mm. But, uh, yeah, legendary name in uh, horror games, Shinji Mikami. Presented by Capcom. Awesome. Jill, you did a fine job. Well, thank you, Wesker, you dick. Uh, so, it took us uh, nearly 12 hours, which is pathetic when you think that um, it could, this game can be completed in three. Um, and I will attempt to speedrun at some point, because I, I really like this game. So, he killed 62 creatures, ammo, 216, uh, ink ribbons, 19, and we used 23 health. And we got the closet key. A new costume has been unlocked. You can change it in the dressing room. I believe that's in the mansion. Wicked. I'm going to... In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to save there. Because, uh, just in case, uh, that's cleared data. Sweet. Okay, that's Resident Evil done and dusted. Like I said, I'll put a little sneak peek of what's coming next at the end of this video. And uh, by the looks of things, we've got ourselves a new title screen. Very snazzy. Once again. So I think that is if you, you want to play the game on the real survivor mode or the survivor mode, uh, which are the harder difficulties, which I might do in the future. Um, so I really hope you enjoy Resident Evil, guys. It's a game that is close to my heart because it started the whole horror genre off properly. And uh, like I say, if you want to see more games like this, please do leave me a comment. Uh, in the comments section below and uh, like I said hit me up with a like it takes you 30 seconds even less than that and uh, it really lets me know that you want us to continue we are a small channel and I really am trying to grow and give you content that you enjoy so, uh, so yeah but uh, until next time guys this is GK Plays signing off but for next time <laughs>